switch gears a little bit and uh, we're going to talk about Woodlawn Health as Brad Rogers joins us. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Nice, nice. Nice. Beautiful weather outside. Beautiful. It's going to start cooling down again a little bit, but that's okay. It is uh, towards the end of October, so it's kind of expected. <laughs> I think we're a little behind schedule it feels like bit, yes. you know, we have that 80 some degree uh -huh. weather the last couple days and boy it sure was nice <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't and we just need a sprinkling of rain uh, we need a lot of sprinkling yes. of rain it's like um over a nice stretch of time yeah, yeah. i agree I not agree. we don't need the downpour that runs all off and doesn't do any good correct nice slow steady yeah maybe we'll get some we got some uh, in the forecast for friday okay possibility so okay but you know it's Mother Nature, so who knows? Absolutely, and, and Indiana. And Indiana. Speaking of uh, Indiana, a good old hospital here, a rural hospital taking care of folks, and how's things going at uh, Woodlawn? I was excited there for a minute because I thought you were going to mention my Indiana Hoosiers. Oh, well, we can do and, that. And the 7-0 and football I team that we've had for that. the first time. First time since you know, uh, 1960 something. I, I don't want to offend those, uh, you know, those Purdue those individuals black and from this community. Individuals. I know it's a it's a black and gold through and through up here. But we do get to brag every now and then. But but my Indiana roots, uh, boy, I've been happy lately. <laughs> yeah. Happy lately. There has been a yes, it's been happy in our household as well as we're watching and listening to the Hoosiers. So. Absolutely. Sold Absolutely. out, by the way, for the rest of the year. Yes. If you were interested in going. Absolutely. Sold out the rest of the year. Yeah, that's amazing, yeah. isn't it? It's amazing. So if you know somebody's got tickets, they're kind of. Kind of like gold right now. Oh, I bet you they'd be pretty pricey yeah. to come up with as well. <laughs> Absolutely. But, uh, all right, so there we go. We'll get that plug. Go Hoosiers. That's right. Yeah. Um, game, game day going to be there this week. Yes. Wilmington's going to be yeah, really I mean, crazy. You know, you, you, you've heard even some Heisman discussion yeah. on, on the quarterback there. Yeah. I, I mean, Coach I think he, that's a little premature. A little and, premature as he gets hurt. That kind of Yeah, we'll that. see what happens that old thumb this yeah. week. But, uh, but I also heard maybe a Coach of the Year. So, yeah, Signetti's doing. Yeah, that's a, a huge job. turnaround. Oh, my goodness. So, absolutely. All right. We probably ought to talk what we talked about. I guess we'll have to get, you know, I got so excited when you did. led with Indiana. It's well, hard to get back I, on I the track after that. Probably ought to talk about the board meeting. That's right. We so will. we don't get in trouble. <clears throat> we will. <laughs> How'd it go? Um, lots of things at the board that were good. Uh, first and foremost, we'll do that fun thing we always do where we talk about the financials. And, um, you know, Healthcare is bittersweet, right? Mm -hmm. When the community is doing well and, and illnesses are down, the hospital tends to have a financially tough month. Well, September was like that. Yeah. Um, we had about a $918,000 operating loss for the month, $918,000. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and it was, it was due to decreased volumes. Uh, right. you know, everything from emergency department to the pharmacy was down overall. Again, that means probably less illnesses, less injuries right. in the community, and we're very happy about that. Yeah. Double-edged um, sword. Yeah, it is. It's a double-edged sword. Um, we, did, we, we did have an overall net loss of about 560000 for the month. That's with all of our other revenues and such. Now, year-to-date, we have a net income overall of about $1.5 on the bottom line. Good. So that's the very bottom end deal, end, end after all those other revenues. And so we are still running in a positive for the year. Um, October much busier already, <laughs> substantially, so we'll probably yeah. see that pendulum swing the other oh, way yeah. when I come back next month. Yeah. Usually <clears> goes uh, like, like a roller coaster, up and down. Oh, absolutely. You know, for us, two or three months uh, a year, we typically kind of see that downturn, yeah. and that's pretty normal. Um, that, that makes us a, a challenge, and, and we work hard at managing that, but it does happen, and mm -hmm. that's, that's to be expected. Um, we had some visitors at the hospital here. Um, last yeah. month. We had uh, U.S. Senator and, and gubernatorial candidate Mike Braun, um, Indiana State Representative Jack Jordan, and our mayor here, uh, Mayor Odell. Yes. Um, wonderful for them to stop by and they took a tour of the hospital together and, and saw our facility and then we got to spend about an hour and a half uh, with them just talking about rural health care. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's something that, that Alan, our, our CEO, Alan Fisher, our CEO, and, and all of the administrative team have really done a lot more of in the last year, which is get our information out yeah. to the leaders in the communities and in the state. Rural health care is different. It's different than those large facilities in large cities that have, you know, 30 or 40 different locations across the state. Right. Uh, community-based hospital system like Woodlawn 
we're independent. We're on our own. Everything we do affects ourselves and our community. And um, we don't get paid and reimbursed, uh, one, like we used to. Um, and two, oftentimes when there are policies at the state level, they don't really think about no. small community hospitals. No. <clears throat> it was wonderful to hear uh, Representative Jordan, Mayor O'Dell, and uh, gubernatorial candidate uh, uh, Senator Mike Braun talk about how they understand and, and realize that there needs to be a focus on rural health care. And that's good not only for Woodlawn Hospital, but all those small hospitals across the country and across the state. So that was nice, and we really do appreciate them taking time out of their busy schedules to come and, and really spend yeah. a lot of time with us. You don't normally get that amount of time, yeah. so it was wonderful. Well, I, and hopefully it was uh, some eye-opening uh, things for them as well, and they can take back to their appropriate uh, places and, and, and <clears throat> you know change as we move forward. You know, absolutely. One of the things that Woodlawn Hospital, uh, because of our Board of Trustees' faith in this community and their desire to keep this community moving forward, um, is, you know, we're keeping open our OB unit. That, that's, a, that's a given. That's, yeah. that's a board decree. And so um, we need to talk about those things because I don't know that the general public realizes that a OB unit in a small community hospital typically loses one to two million dollars a year. Wow. Um, because the volumes aren't there mm -hmm. and the reimbursement is not there. Um, we get paid at Woodlawn Hospital for a delivery from many of the state-sponsored insurance programs, the same exact dollar we got paid in 1993. <laughs> wow. So that's tough to keep yeah. going on. When you're getting paid less than your cost of your, your supplies yeah. and your labor costs, uh, that's tough to do. So those are important things to get out to those individuals that are in the government. But you're, all, you're, you're also one of only a few in the northern part of Indiana rural community, especially uh, that have an OB department. Yeah, our, a lot, we, a lot of them have closed down. Absolutely, all around us they've closed down, and and we call ours the maternity oasis. You know, Alan, our CEO, talked about that many months ago when he uh, when we first started talking about OB. But we are kind of that oasis. We're the only county in several counties that uh, yeah. provide OB care, and and we see that because we have situations here in the last six months where we've had uh, ladies show up at our ER or at the, at the hospital who have never had any OB care and they're actively in labor and delivering mm -hmm. babies. So it's important that we keep those facilities yeah. open and it's important to talk to those representatives and those leaders that, that have some um, say in what happens mm -hmm. moving forward. So we do thank them for their time. Hats off to you guys for hosting. <clears throat> Absolutely. We, we, we really enjoy having them here and showing them what a gym with Long Hospital yeah. is. Um, our Rehab to Home program, we've talked about that from time to time. I'm proud to say that that's going strong and we're, we're out there and available for you guys. So if you are discharged from the hospital at, uh, let's say, a large hospital in Fort Wayne or Indianapolis or South Bend and you need a little bit more care, um, we are an alternative to going to a skilled nursing facility or even going home sometimes with home health care. It's a way to get, a, I'll call it a tune-up, um, get that final tune-up before you go home so that you can be independent at home with a reduced risk of falling and let's reduce that chance that you have to go back to the hospital. Right. So we have that there. We're, we're going full and uh, strong and we'd love to be uh, part of that care for you. Um, talking about partnerships and being part of that care, we want all the entities in the community also to know that we want to be a part of what's going on in the community in lots of ways. and so. You know, just one example of that is our chaplain, Jason C., recently went to the Fulton County Resource Summit. And really, that's a chance for us to be a part of the team and a part of the discussion on things like food insecurity and transportation challenges and, and housing issues. Those issues that the community face, Woodlawn faces too, right. because we're seeing a lot of those patients come through. And you would be surprised how many times we have to contact local um, churches and local uh, service organizations to help get somebody a ride home when they've been discharged from the hospital mm. wow. because there's no transportation available after four o'clock. I think our transportation crew in the community does an amazing job with the resources they have. Um, but you know, a lot of times somebody gets discharged from the emergency department at 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. We have a lot of people who don't have vehicles or access to somebody who can come get them. So just want you guys to know if you have um, a discussion coming up or if you have a team of people working together to, to solve any of the problems in the community or to help um, we want to be a part of that so reach out to us yeah. we'd love to be a part of that awesome. 
Um, a welcome notice. Yes. Yes. Welcome we board. have we have a new board member. Awesome. Um, Kendra Chedinsky uh, joined the Woodlawn Board of Directors. Perfect. Yesterday was her first meeting. Yeah. So we would love to to make sure that she knows that we are happy to have her and, and welcome her to the board. Yes. Um, serving in any capacity is a um, it's a big responsibility. <laughs> It's a big responsibility, and it takes a lot of people's individual time. Mm -hmm. And um, we we are very happy that the uh, commissioners added Kendra to the the board, and, and love working with her, yeah. and, and look forward to working with her in the future. Should be a great so, addition. Absolutely. Um, getting out in the community. There's a big day coming in a week, and it's not my birthday, although no, that is not. that is coming. But okay. that's not the reason why we're talking. Oh, about. okay. Halloween's coming. It is. And so we want to let you guys know we'll be out there in Akron and Argus and all around the communities handing out candy and saying uh, hello to everybody. The healthy candy, right? That, I'm not <laughs> going to answer that question because I'm not in charge of candy. Uh, okay, okay. Let's let's pass that buck on to there someone you go. else. There you go. Um, but we'll be out there handing out treats. That's what there I'll say. Go. I don't treats. know that it's candy. It could be every you know pencils oh. and paper clips. Oh, who knows? I'm not sure. Treats. But we'll be out there in the communities and handing those things out. And then... A um, couple other events coming up. We've got a car seat check on November 1st. So new parents, upcoming or expecting parents, or people that are just sometimes grandmas and grandpas mm -hmm. are driving these kids around. Yep. Uh, on November 1st from 4 to 6 o'clock at our visitor's interest at the hospital, we're going to have a um, education and um, training session for anybody who comes through. There'll be some, and this says right here, I'm, this is not my wording, there will be candy for the children. Awesome. Um, but the adults, uh, they're going to learn essential safety tips for keeping those little munchkins safe. So, um, you know, we can make sure that car seats are properly secured, give tips, all those kinds of things. So come on out if you have any questions, and, and we'll have a team of people there yeah. to help out. You know, you talk about that, but it, yeah, that's a very uh, touchy situation sometimes because there's car seats do have expiration dates. They yeah, yeah, you know, and they, they really do. They do have, uh, you know, sayings that if they've been in a wreck already, you are to disc discard of them. And so some things may, people may not be aware of. Yeah, you really do need to check those car seats. You know, I, I think all of us, you know, we have a, a wonderful piece of equipment. It worked well for our kids. And what do we do? We keep it clean. We save it. And, mm -hmm. and we want to pass it along, right? Well, sometimes we may be passing along an item that's no longer a, a safe. Yeah or it's past its uh, expiration. So there are dates on those. Yeah. And there's general rules of thumb too for each manufacturer. So um, come on out and learn that information yeah, and we'll make educated. sure we get everybody, uh, keep everybody safe. And then on November 9th, we're gonna be up in Marshall County at the uh, LifeLex there in Plymouth at the Holiday Home and Health Show. Okay. So we're gonna have a, a booth set up there with a lot, of, a lot of staff and we'll be there available for some quick health screens and things like that as well. Cool. So busy times. It is. You know, we do want to again thank everybody. We had a ball this year during our fair season. Finished that up with the uh, Kiwana Fall Festival there a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and um, just uh, want to thank everybody. Had a great time, and that candy that we handed out, it was not healthy candy. It was <laughs> standard candy with probably a lot of high fructose corn syrup. There you go. Um, but boy, the kids loved it. Oh, yeah, that's what and, draws and, the kids. And some right? of the parents, I had parents yeah. re requesting, you know, I'd like that large tootsie roll, please. <laughs> Um, so Give the small you know, one to the kid. We don't all grow eight. up, do we? No, we got to enjoy your kid. Absolutely. Yes. Um, so we did enjoy that. And then obviously from a marketing perspective, you know, we're there on uh, woodlawnhealth.org, Facebook and Instagram. I actually just got on Facebook, the Woodlawn page this morning, yeah. just to kind of see some stuff going on. And um, all of our events are on there and available to you. And, awesome. and occasionally it's pictures of the deer out back. Yes. And we've got a lot of deer running around between the golf course and, and the airport and us. Nice trail so, to walk and see them. Absolutely. So, Especially on these beautiful days. Yeah, while well, we still have those beautiful days, come on out and walk around the trail at the hospital. Check out the storyboard that's yeah. back there for the kids and, and uh, stop in and say hi. So we, we appreciate you guys and, and love the opportunity to be able to care for you. Brad, I always appreciate you coming in. Anything else this morning as we wrap up? Boy, I think that's enough for one day. Well, enough know? for one day. Now I'm all excited about yeah. the uh, upcoming game this weekend. How was the, how was the food truck this last month? You know, we had the elephant ears and the lemon yeah. shakeups, and boy, the line was long. <laughs> yeah. um, and, Just and like I, fair time all over. It, it really was, and I had to do what I always do, which is uh, um, I had to make sure I got a 
bought a warm one at the end of the day uh -huh. to take home to the to the missus. You did well. Um, so uh, she she does request that once or twice <laughs> a year. I think I had to do that at the fair Probably. when we were out yes, there as well. With, so. your, with your lipstick and all. There you go. I still have that. You know, I was at a meeting in Indianapolis, and the, the idea of the uh, pig kissing situation came up. <laughs> and apparently there were three of us on the Rural Hospital Association board that had some kind of yep. interaction with the swine oh. in the last couple months. Well, and so, it's uh, just how appropriate. You fit right in there. When they looked mine up, I won or lost, as they yes. say. <laughs> <Yeah>. No <laughs> one else had to kiss it. them. Brad, appreciate you coming in. Have a great month, and we'll talk to you again in November. Sounds good, you guys. Brad Rogers from Woodlawn Health here on the Woodlawn Health Report.